Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. They were playing a custom map. This is a Phasmophobia map. Wow, this looks cool. We got a couple weapons in here, a knife. Oh, that broke a lot. I think that gun sucks. We got a G3. That gun's not too bad, but not something I'm really exciting about. We start out with a knife. That's pretty neat. All right. Ooh, the knifing is pretty sweet. We got a little flashlight. Got some neighbors going on over here. There's a pack. Oh, maybe a portal to the pack. And it looks like a PH. Or that's Widow's Wine. Alright. Ooh, what's over here? We got Speed Cola. What is this? Some kind of... Oh. That is interesting. Generator too, huh? But anyways, this is the uh, Willow Street House from the Phasmophobia game. Ghost hunting game. Uh... So it was a community made map. It's really cool, we got a red box logo. We got the, the good old quick revive. It's gonna be like ghosts that come after us. Yo, what if we went in here and they had the ghost from Buried in there coming after us? That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, oh, the knife is still one hit. All right. All right, we set max ammo for our knife. Nice. Yeah, I don't really want to get a gun. What's up here? That's, oh, there's a park. Sweet. Right. Save a uh, save a zombie. This one and probably open up. What is this? Seven fifty. Get the gobble gums over here too. Oh, still one hit. Oh yeah, this knife is nice. And you place you get the full amount of points too. Nice. Oh. Get out of here, bud. I don't know where that boy came from. Ooh, the range on this is pretty good. Stabbed her right in her implants. There we go. Knocked that boy's old that boy's uh, teeth out there. Look at him. Ooh, he's he's gnarly looking. Yeah, let's finish up this double points, and uh, we'll uh, open up. Damn the range on this knife. Alright, I don't know where the rest of them are, but let's hop in here. Ooh, is it a box? Here, let's do- Oh, that is- That's fucking awesome. Yeah, we got an RPD, that kind of sucks, but alright. What if, like, uh, you open the box and you had to, like, defend yourself against them? Ooh, there's a teddy. Oh, that was cool. A little radio there. Last zombie. Can just keep this knife out? What if my regular knife does a lot of damage too? Oh yeah, it does. What is that? Ooh, a sniper. I like snipers. Oh, I like this sniper. God damn. Oh, the regular knife don't do it anymore. We got rid of it. Shit. All right, that's fine. All right, what else we got going on? Ooh, we got jug. We got to turn on the power first. We can't really see too much in here, boys. Waki Sashi. What the fuck is that? Some kind of maybe like a buoy knife. In here. This is a quaint little map. It's cool. Sure, you probably get a uh, quite cucked in this map at times, but I wonder if they only come from outside. Probably wouldn't be too bad then. The sniper sounds like the dog from Grown Ups. You guys ever seen that movie? It's a good movie. I forget what the dog's name is. Yeah, so this spot must be another box spot. That's so cool. That's just wicked looking. Props to the the makers of this map. Good, really good work. Where this boy's at? Oh, they're coming through the bushes. Alright, let's see what else we got going on over here. I'm gonna grab that uh, jug, why not? We got some points here. Should we open up or grab some perks? Open up. Let's go downstairs, right? Yeah. Oh, there's even the spray cans. Oh my god, look at this. Ah. Ooh, an M4, alright. I don't hear anybody in the house, so I think they just come from outside. AK, they got some good guns in this map. It's just a wrench. Oh, this must be for the power, or for the, uh, uh, pack punch for that portal. 
Oh, hey, boys. Jesus Christ, he fucking scared me. Let's just pop a couple headshots off these guys as they come in. It's probably a really bad idea to be pouring myself down here. Oh, where'd that boy come from? What the fuck? Alright, well, I'm not gonna stay here and find out. Little quick scoops here and there, you know. Get collateral. Oh, there they go. Down with their head. Nice. A last shot. Did it miss? I don't know how I hit that. Right, let's grab that. Let's grab the speed cola. That's a good perk right there, if I say so myself. 45,000. Alright, we should be able to do that. No problem. That's the goal for the game is uh, exiting safely and bringing back all our challenges to... Uh, Creepy guy that talks to us in the beginning of the game. You guys never played a Phasmophobia and VR yet? Try it. that's that's fun. You get to hold an extra, extra pool because you have uh, two controllers, so a total of four items, and uh, just the atmosphere and like the vibe of it is a lot cooler. Oh yeah, this thing reloads quick too. Let's uh, pull out this RPK and get a little points. Ooh, this thing's loud. I don't know if I like this too much. I'll turn the sound down a little bit. All right, that's a little bit better. Hey, it's more so of the pitch of the uh, the gun than anything else. We all right. Let's see. Let's go hit the box again. I'm not really liking this gun too much. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good point maker, but I want to see what else is in here. I mean, Uzi. All right, that's cool. Yeah, you guys know the Uzi from Mob of the Dead. Oh, that's a good Uzi. That and the Tommy. I think it's like the Street Sweeper after you pack it or something like that. Ooh, this thing reloads quick. Speed cola coming in handy. This is very similar to the one in mob. Those are the good old days. If you guys are watching, put uh, put your favorite zombies map of all time down in the comments. I definitely say uh I'll, I'll here, let's see, I'll go for each one. So World at War. Um Therese was in there, I think, right? At the end. I believe so. Therese. If not, if it's not in there, then I'll probably go with uh I didn't really play a lot of Shinonuma. Played a little bit of a rock. I think Notch was just just like built different because it was like the first one and it's such a weird atmosphere too. I'm pretty sure the fourth one was uh three so. So I'm gonna say that one for first one. Black Ops 2. That one had buried. Oh wait. I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh wait, no, I missed Black Ops 1, so okay. Black Ops 1. They had Ascension, Kino. Those ones are really good. I didn't really like Moon too much. Um, it was unique, but like it was just a pain in the ass. What else they had? They had um, Call of the Dead, which was I actually just posted a video on that one. So check that one out. You have to check it out. Um, that one was fun. I never had it, so I always played at my buddy's house. That one was really fun. Then what was the last one? Shangri La. Um, I only played that one a handful of times. I think I played it on Black Ops 3 on the PC. I used to play Xbox, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Um. So, out of those, I would definitely say my favorite was Ascension and Kino. A lot of good uh, memories with those maps. And then... Black Ops 2. That introduced Mob of the Dead. Some really good bangers there. Mob of the Dead, it had... Die Rise, Transit... Or not Die Rise, uh, yeah, Die Rise. Transit. Um, had all the farm stuff like that. Nuketown was there. Had the good old Mob of the Dead. What else was there? Uh, there's another one I'm thinking of. But that one definitely Mob of the Dead and Buried. Buried was really fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Transit, I played it a handful. I like, completed it a handful of times. That was about it. Uh, I didn't really just play it for fun. When it first came out, it was kind of fun. But because like nobody really knew what to do. But like after you just had to cheese the game just to enjoy it, it was kind of eh, wasn't enjoyable anymore. Buried was always fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. 
good guns in that one. The chalk system and the point system was really fun getting all those points. Leading uh, Leroy around. The Mob of the Dead, probably one of my favorite of all time. Um, probably good memories on the map. Really good layout, I would say. And the guns were really good. I like the uh, Hell's Redeemer a lot. And I think the mobster characters were a really good tie-in for it. It's hard to compete with a, like a map of that tier. It's probably like one of my all-time favorites. I would probably go with uh, for Black Ops 3. What do we got on here? I don't remember what we got on here, to be honest. Oh, you know what? Um, Black Ops 3 also has Origins. That one was fun. Uh, large map to a lot of prepping and everything, but I think it was really unique with the staves. Especially once I got the hang of it. Before I got the hang of it, I thought it was like absolutely atrocious. But then I like grew up a little bit and I realized it was actually a really good map. Um, that, they had a buried, they had Mob of Dead, they had Nuke Town. Um, and then we also missed 5 and a Dead Ops earlier. 5, I always thought it had a cool aspect. I never really played it that much because I wasn't very good at it. And then the uh, Dead Ops arcade was always fun to screw around on. Get some high rounds on there and just have fun, kick back, relax. It's actually quite challenging once you get a little bit higher, but it was unique, which was pretty cool. You don't see that too often these days. Then for uh, what was our other gun? The Uzi, right? Got the ammo, that's why. Um, for Black Ops 3, a lot of the ones I didn't really play too much. Shadow of the Evil, that was like when I really got into a PC a little bit more. I first made like a big switch. And uh, then they had the, the Giant, which was the exclusive. That one was pretty cool. Even though it was already kind of there. But they also had the uh, Eisendrac. The uh, Shima one. And then the uh, Gerard Krovi. And then the Revelations. I really haven't played any of those too much. To be honest with you guys. Um, but even if I play it now, it feels like it's brand new to me. Because I really never played them. Right here and there. But like never gotten into them as much as I used to be. I used to have like a crew we used to all play. And then Black Ops 4. I... I think I played like one map and that was it. I haven't really touched that game too much. Just like back in the day with uh, World War and all the custom stuff on there. But yeah, this one's a lot of fun because you got maps like this. You got maps like uh, Call of the Dead one that we just got. We just played. There's all kinds of remasters. This is a really cool Shrek one that was like really intricate. A lot of just cool, cool stuff on the maps. We got a death machine right at the end of the round. Let's uh, we grab. Oh, we're completely out. Let's grab another gun because we're out of ammo. This is so cool, this box. Can't get over it. We're gonna get... Ooh, a Lynx. Alright. This gun's pretty good. It's kind of like a Honey Badger. But overall, throughout the years, I made some really good maps. Um, some I definitely haven't gotten to as much as I would like, but... That's why there's uh, fan-made ones, and remasters, and there's the Zombie Chronicles, which is nice. Not a huge fan of the Gobblegum system. It's fun to, like, screw around with, but it's... Not as uh, challenging as some of the other maps, and as intriguing, and it's, I don't know, it kind of just seems like a cheat most of the time. Some of those Black Ops 4, or Black Ops 3 maps, it makes sense. But like the older maps, not at all. And uh, some of the custom maps are a little bit much, but... I haven't played Shadows of Evil too much. Uh, I don't know if I've ever completed it. But it was pretty interesting. Uh, we have, uh, I think we have the other version of Origins on here or something like that. But out of all, all the Black Ops 3 maps, I'd probably go with uh, just a base one. I don't really have a big favorite for it. Nice. Alright, 21k. Nice. We'll grab a couple perks, why not? Hey, don't forget to uh, post your favorite maps down in below in the comments. If there's one that you have on all time, or if you want to list my favorite one from every game. Oh, is that a mule kick? I never liked mule kick. Always got me in trouble with mule kick. But yeah, probably some all time would definitely be uh, Mob with the Dead. Tension would be really close. You know, you know, was just like staple. Oh, we got a sniper back. Let's reload that boy. Do a nice little bit of training here. This map isn't too bad. Got a nice layout. The zombie spawns aren't atrocious like some of the other maps. 
got the double points. Let's grab that. I'm going to keep that instant kill there. I don't want that right now. I like the maps that have the uh, zombie counters. Because, like, then you can kind of tell when you're uh, safe to do certain things. Or if they're still spawning, or... Well, this gun's definitely not very strong, but it's good for points. Uh -oh. That was close. Ooh, a new... Why don't I come over here and open this up real quick? What's this? Initiate. Widow's Wine. Widow's Wine's good. I like that perk. Guess we'll initiate this. I think this one is inside somewhere. Probably down here in the basement. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ink pad with four. Oh, there's the last study. Alright, we gotta get out of here before it's too late. Alright, we made it, boys. Oh my god, boys, we had a minigun. No way, look at this thing. Alright, boys, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it, right here. Oh, we got a deagle, alright. Dang! Bye to your head. Ooh, we got the M4! M4 and a Deagle, that's a nice combo. Alright, my goal is I want to pack both of my guns. And I want to build the shield too. And then uh, we'll be in a safe to finish. Steagle. I wonder if I put a, this M4 in the pack, if it gives me a grenade launcher, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh -oh. That was close. That Widow just saved me. Yeah, they're starting to pick up a little bit. Not enough, though. Ooh, right in his head, too. Nuke. Oh, it's just last zombie. There we go. Hop up the nuke. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's just, just hop in here and takes us somewhere. I'm gonna build that shield real quick. I think it's probably downstairs. Yeah, I bet you it's probably downstairs. We'll do that next, uh, next round. Get out of here. Oh shit, boys! Look at this thing. I got this huge thing, and I got a wonder wall. All right, interesting. Oh, M16. Right. Oh, I bet you this is for the shield. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Got the shield built. Grab one of those, boys. Let me get out of here. I don't know where it is. I'm taking it. Oh, another wonder wall. <laughs> All right, let's start a little army out here while we uh, hit this up. A shotgun again? All right. Come on, give us something good. A ranger. I don't want a ranger. Let's throw another army. Well, at least this guy reloads it quick. I got a sword? Oh, this sword is not good. Hop in here and grab this gun. Oh, this is a G3. This ain't any good. Boys, what happened to the lights? Everything got really dark. Oh, there we go. That's the gun I'm looking for. Uh oh. We're stuck on here. What? That was weird. I think we got stuck on a crawler, or maybe this guy was coming out of uh, spawn. P90, and then this thing. I don't even know what this thing does. Oh, okay. Now I do. It's a black hole. Holy shit. Literally. Yeah. 
guys were just in shock. Alright, we're going in, boys. We got the G36. What else you got in here? Some knives. Let's hop in here, boys. Oh shit, look at this. It's pack. I don't know how long we got in here. The G6 generator. Let's pop this boy in there. Oh my god, look at the little Cthulhu things. That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I shoved my hand in its ass. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I hear a heartbeat. We must be pack we must be leaving in a second. Oh that thing's got titties, I can't show that. Oh, that's cool. Look at the little Black Ops picture. That's cool. Black Ops 2. <laughs> Where's this going to put us? Oh, inside the house. Alright. Yeah, here they come. Alright, let's finish up this round and then we'll uh, head out of here. Oh, now we get a fire ourselves, right? We're going to get some cool gun. I want to shoot this thing, see how this looks. Oh, shit. That is cool. Right, let's pop one of these Arnie's down, too. I want to see if there's anything good to get out of this box. Oh, I got these things. I remember these. It's basically what I already have. I got a knife. Can I pack the knife? Let's pack the knife, boys. Let's do it. Oh, it's cooling down. Oh, wait. Alright, I can link it. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's go quick. I wonder if this knife is still one shot. Oh, oh, oh. Can't see. Can't see. Get out of my way, boys. There we go. Oh, we got max ammo, too. Oh, they're all dying. Oh, I think we got a nuke. See if this knife is uh, packable. Oh my god, yes, let's pack it. What's it gonna do? Closing argument. Ooh, that's cool looking. Can I pack this again? Oh, I can't. It's this knife. Ooh. I wonder if it's one shot. Yeah, there's a little uh, Black Ops poster here. That's cool. This thing is terrifying looking. It's gun. I think it's a gun in one of the uh, normal maps. Alright, we gotta head out this way. Let's try out this knife. Can I just knife like this? Oh yeah, I can. Oh. Oh yeah, it's one shot. Bonk. Nice. That is, that is a cool gun. It's like a thunder gun, but like inverse. Same so shooting them out, it shoots them in. Or black hole gun. This knife is cool because you can just knife regularly. You don't have to actually take the knife out. I was playing another map earlier uh, that was very similar. All right, boys, let's do it. Let's pop a hole right here. Space time continuum. Let's do it. Escape. Wait, survive. I jump in here. 27 round. Nice. 1100 kills. 285 headshots. That could have been better, but. Nice, that's a pretty cool map. Definitely had some fun with that. Uh, really good looking. Cool weapons. I like having like the more normal modern weapons, not like futuristic weapons or like the old school World War weapons. So definitely cool map. Definitely check it out. Yeah, shout out to the creator, Prospect1. Really good map. Good work, man. Appreciate it. Had some fun. Uh, if you guys like these videos, definitely leave a thumbs up. Drop down another map I should try out or any maps that you like. I'll definitely give them this a shot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.